Ram's been here for about 160 years now, uh, but we're in the process of a £20 million redevelopment scheme, uh, which includes uh, an extension, which we're stood next to, and we will include a bridge from the extension onto the Roman wall, so a very exciting project. We've carried on doing exhibitions, uh, carried on our education service, and we've carried on our children's activities. I think it's absolutely vital that local people have a connection with their local community and their culture and their history. The real value comes when the objects can come out from the cases and to be touched and handled and talked about. The opportunity of seeing children who would not normally step within a medieval building engaging with twisting staircases and um, vaulted stone ceilings and ancient wooden floorboards around an old table. Those are experiences which you cannot create virtually or in any other way. The curator and the conservator have been obviously working extremely hard. Their jobs are very important to preserve these items for posterity and for people like me to come and study. My name's Ali and I like bringing Lily to the museum because there's lots of interesting activities to put on and they're free, so which is an added bonus. Most of the holidays we, we come in a couple of times at least and, and do some of the activities. It has been a lot of fun today and I think I learn a lot from the activities. It brings in the family, so you're here with your parent, so actually that is a real bonus for us because you're doing something together. We're a city of 120,000 population, but the travel to work and shopping population that all visit the museum is half a million. We've opened up the building back in some ways to its original Victorian intentions, so you can see some fantastic Victorian architecture alongside some fantastic modern architecture. I think people are really going to enjoy that.